Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Studio Series Bumblebee Movie, Soundwave, and Ravage. And this decal set includes five decal sheets on foil backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Soundwave and Ravage, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Ravage looks really good. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got great sculpted details all over and actually really good paint applications for such a small figure. You can see right there, his yellow eyes, the red strip on top of his forehead, the red there along the cheeks, silver up here on his missile pod and there along the top of the pod. On the side of the legs, we got some red and white with a Decepticon insignia, white and red on the back of the legs, and that's about it. So really, straight out of the package, this Ravage looks great. One of the best looking retail Ravages we've got in a long time. So I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him, and the decals are only for robot mode, so there will be no alt mode comparison. So there you go guys, Ravage in robot mode before and after. Ravage gets a few new decals to help enhance his robot mode, taking a closer look at the figure. He gets new decals here on the shoulders that kind of look like armor plating. You've got options, you've got the ones like I have with the Decepticon insignia, or you have plain. Of course, I always go for the insignia. There's also new decals that cover up the pins. You got one right there and one right there behind the back leg. New blue decals for the cheeks and a decal right there inside the rocket launcher. So just a little bit to help enhance Ravage. So there you have Ravage in his robot mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Soundwave actually looks really good. He's got some great paint applications all over and some fantastic sculpted details. Really, the only problem I have with this figure is the face. I mean, he just looks so depressed with that visor. He just looks like he's really, really worried. And I'm not a big fan of the blue gap right there in the middle of the faceplate. That being said, looking at the paint applications, the visor is nice bright red. You got silver there for the faceplate, except for the middle. The chest here is translucent plastic, but doesn't look too bad since the chest cavity is so dark. You can actually make out the red here, the gold, and the Decepticon insignia. Down here on the forearms, he does have red striping. On the waist, there's some silver with some white and red triangles. Moving on down, you've got some gold here for the shins, and that's it for the paint application. So I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for Soundwave here. So there you go, one final look at Soundwave in robot mode before and after. But before I get into showing off all of Soundwave's new decals, I do have to make a correction. In the intro, I stated that the decal set was all on foil backing. I was wrong. You get a combination of foil, vinyl, clear, and opaque. So a wide variety of decals are going on Soundwave here. And taking a closer look at the figure, I have to show off the face first. That looks awesome he's got this new red visor with a little silver section right there so he doesn't look as depressed and what cracks me up is uh toy hacks actually called this decal 
sadness reducing decal and that really cracked me up now there is a layer of decals that you put on underneath for a base before you put the red on but man that looks so good along with the brand new chrome mouth plate that covers up that blue that was in the center that just looks awesome i mean this decal set in my opinion is worth it right there for the face now it gets a clear decal here on the chest it's a clear decal with those red lines that were already a part of the base figure but that enables the chest to have more of a 3d look I don't know if it's coming across on camera as good as in person. I love the looks of that. That's really awesome. New decals here on the shoulders. You get these blue decals here and silver. Yellow highlight decals here and here on either side of the chest. Blue decals right below the window. Moving on down to the waist, you get new decals right here. These chrome and red decals. You have an option of either the chrome and red or you have chrome and silver. So I went with the chrome and red since he has all the red on him already. You also have decals right here for the crotch area. It kind of looks like the buttons from his tape player mode in G1. Here on the forearms, you get these new red and gray decals. These gray decals are opaque, so they're kind of see-through. Man, they look so good. It really breaks up all that white. More of the red and gray decals here on the thighs. Moving on down to the legs, he gets these new blue and silver decals on both sides of the leg. Down here on the foot, blue and silver decals as well on the outside and inside. Man, they did a number on Soundwave. He looks so good now. So they have Soundwave in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Soundwave retains a lot of his sculpted details, but there's very minimal paint applications. You've got gold here around the cockpit. There's some red right here along the front. In the middle, we've got some silver. And along the side of the vehicles, you've got some more gold. And that's it. A very bland and weird looking vehicle mode. So there you go. Soundwave in vehicle mode before and after. Soundwave's Krabby Patty mode gets quite a few new decals from Toy Hacks to help enhance the look. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, he gets new silver decals right here along the front that I think look really good. New red decals for those triangles, and he gets new red decals right there for the front of the vehicle, along with silver decals right there. Moving on along the back, there are new decals right here that covered up the canopy to give it more of a blue and silver look along with some yellow decals along the side. Now with these decals here, there are structural decals you put on underneath to kind of thicken up the area you put this decal on. And my recommendation for you when you put this decal on, just lightly press down. You don't want to press down too hard or you're going to see those ridges. Let me see if I can get the light to catch. See what I'm talking about right there? If you press too hard, those are going to be shown. I mean, they're really going to pop, so be careful applying those. He gets new blue decals here on the sides and right there that I think look really good. New vent decals right there. And moving on to the back of the figure, you get new silver decals with blue accents, silver decals here, and on the back you got a multiple, multiple, ah, I got tongue tied, multiple blue decals. You got the dark blue here, light blue here, there are blue decals that cover up those pins, and yellow decals right there. So, a lot more detail than what the vehicle had before. So, there you go. Soundwave in vehicle mode after. I absolutely love what Toy Hacks was able to do for Studio Series Soundwave and Ravage, especially with the face decals, because as I said earlier, the face is what really put me off with this figure, but thanks to Toy Hacks, I think it looks amazing now. Not to mention all the extra decals that added so much more detail and personality to this figure. Granted, it really didn't do much for vehicle mode, but I'm not sure there's much you can do with that. 
The extra decals for Ravage were a fun addition. They really don't add a lot to the character, but I do like that armor-plated look. So if you have a Studio Series Soundwave in Ravage, this set is highly recommended, especially if you're not a fan of poor old depressed Soundwave. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hello!